Corporate America can go pound sand. I've heard that so much this last year. Corporate America can go pound sand. There's so many people upset with corporate America, and there's a million reasons they're upset. It really makes you ask the question, who is corporate America? Who is, is it, is it some secret cabal of what, rich, wealthy business people who decided they're going to put their thumb down on everybody who's not an owner or shareholder or the same color of their skin or their same gender or what it, what is it is it is it some politically sort of created secret entity where all the powerful work together and they benefit and everybody else doesn't clearly there's something at work for millions of people to say, corporate America can go pound sand. So, okay, I'm going to give you a thought, and that is, true, corporate America can go pound sand. But if I think about what people are thinking about when they say corporate America, there's a couple things come to mind. Corporate America is a toxic work culture. Corporate America, and it, so that doesn't apply to all, every, every, every business, and that's not the province of large, large or small. Corporate America is a sexist boss. Corporate America is competition among workers that leads to deception and people taking credit for others' work and just overall nastiness inside the workplace. Corporate America is an exhaustion. It's working really hard and no recognition and no equity. Those are some of the things. Wasted meetings, uh, traffic and long commutes, uh, just working from sun up to sundown and then open your laptop at nine. There's so many things when people say corporate America. I just use air quotes. I'm not supposed to use corporate air, air, air quotes. <laughs> Anyway, so many things that when people say corporate America, and what I realize is corporate America in that context is a culture. It is a behavior. And where does a cult culture come from? Well, it comes from a tribe. It comes from a collective somewhere that says this is the way we're going to run things. This is, this is accepted here. This is the way forward. And when I think about, okay, if corporate America is not necessarily a cabal or an organization on the NASDAQ or anything like that, which it's not, it's a culture and it's a tribe um, that you really can't point at. They don't have an address, but they certainly have a mindset. And if that's the case, nobody who runs a good business would like to be called corporate America in that context. They would say, well, I don't want a toxic workplace and I don't want to be a sexist boss and I don't want people to feel like they don't have any opportunity to advance, but yet they do. So where does that leave us? Well, here we are in a whole new economy, massively different dynamics on, on how we work. And here we are at Voyager. We've got a whole new tribe and it's the independent tribe. It's the opposite of the corporate America in the context of all things that are bad in business or corporate America. It is the opposite, opposite of that. It is a tribe of independence, and we get to decide what we think is okay, what is passable, what is acceptable, what the norms are, what we recognize and celebrate. And it's an amazing, amazing thing going on right now, and I hope you join us. The bad things in corporate America can indeed go pound sand. Good things in the independent world, we're celebrating them and more and more are coming to light each day.